Welcome to State Attack. Here's an iPhone 6 Plus tip for you. I'm going to show you how to enable emojis to use in any of your favorite applications. We're going to tap on the settings icon. We're going to come into the general tab and then we're going to scroll down until we see keyboard. Tap on keyboard and then tap on keyboards. This is going to bring us into all of the available keyboards that we have on our device. We have another video showing you how to add third party keyboards, but right now we're focusing on the emojis. So you see I already have the emoji added, but if I tap the edit button, I can actually remove it from my list and then go ahead and tap on keyboards. We're gonna tap add new keyboard. And what I'm gonna do is scroll down here in this list and then there's emoji. Now emoji has been re-added to my list of available keyboards. And now if I come into any one of my favorite apps that allows me to message someone, so if I come into notes, for example, I'll create a new note. There's my keyboard that's just been pulled up. And if I tap on the little smiley face next to the one, two, three in the bottom left hand corner, it's going to show me the emoji keyboard. I can swipe through and here's all of the available emojis that I have. Now some of them, I can actually change the skin tone. So on these little thumbs up icons, if I tap and hold, it's going to give me a list of all available skin tones that I can use for that emoji. By default, all of them will be yellow, but you can change the skin tone if you'd like to, or just leave it with the classic emoji feel of the yellow little tone. So now that I've got that set up, you see that the thumbs up has been added to my actual note out there, and I can continue swiping through and begin using all of those emojis. And all I have to do is tap on the ABC in the bottom left hand corner and it brings me to my last used keyboard or if I had more than one keyboard set up it would take me to my next keyboard. So that is how you access and enable emojis on your iPhone. And for more tips and tricks be sure and visit stateoftech.net.